Mr. McCandles. This is Bella. Hello, Bella. No. Oh. Oh. Bud. Oh. Blood. Bud. Uh, blood. Yours and I started talking about poor things in 2017. The idea of having a brain that is brand new, what would that be? Where did she come from? She's an experiment. She is progressing at an accelerated pace. I was blown away by Bella, by the character. I don't think I've ever seen or read any, anyone like that. Working with Emma, that's the reason this film for me was so exciting to make. Bella. Out! No! My character, the doctor, sees her as an experiment, which at some point reaches a crisis. I can't let you go. If you do not, Bella, she'll turn rotten with hate. Ah! I must step forth into waters. That you could have the kind of mind that isn't taught to be a certain way, I think that's very inspiring. <laughs> All of these things that women are conditioned a whole lifetime through do not apply to her. You will confine yourself to three phrases. How marvelous, delighted, and how do they make the pastry so crisp, yes? You get some very funny situations. Oh. I mean, it is unbelievable. The development of the brain, it's such a fine line, especially as we shoot things out of order. And she's really tracking the progression, not just with her voice, but also with her body. It's an incredibly challenging part. It's probably the hardest part I've ever played. A woman plotting her course to freedom. Happy It's a huge leap for her forward. That's incredible to witness. I don't know how this could have been made without her. I wanted to play Bella because it felt like acceptance of what it is to be a woman, what it is to be free, what it is to be confident, and just a little bit up. We will need less of your tongue in the future, but overall most agreeable. It just felt like the perfect combination of all of that.